All right, so Gus, poor Gus. Oh, I can't. My call. mom moved up to the loft after her brothers died. At the time, it was as far away as she could get. <sighs> okay, so her mom was gone. Bible. Religion was another thing my mom never talked about, but I think it helped her a lot after her dad died. <laughs> oh. I love that. That looks so pretty. Don Sanjay. India. <laughs> Fly to India. And we teach critical thinking. Religion, science, math, history. We're helping hands create safe place. She spent a summer building houses in Calcutta, where she met my dad, Sanjay. Place to visit. Wow. <laughs> My mom moved to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. Lewis was born a year later. <gasps> oh, wow. Wow, look at this. This is crazy. When my dad died, I don't think mom knew where else to go. Tom. I'm sure Edie was happy to have her back. Oh, yeah. And to see kids in the house again. Could you imagine living in this house by yourself? Like no one else around? That had to have been so hard. Mint time sage basil. Bliss. Dawn. The house had to get a little bigger, but Edie was used to that. <laughs> yeah, why why reuse all those rooms when you can just add on to it? Keep those rooms untouched. And for a while, things this were good. Cool. Almost normal. This is cool. Family history, fact or fiction. Edith. Lois rolls. <laughs> But it didn't last. Odin Finch. Myth, the curse, history. The teaching to learn, Don Finch. Wow, she even left the computer here. Life efforts end in disaster. Oh no. Took a minute. The beginning of the end was Milton's 10th birthday, when Edie gave him a castle. I love that man. Oh, wow. Wait, I'll get to that in a second. I don't if there's anything over here. Man, I really do hope you guys are enjoying this game as much as I am, because holy crap, this, this, this is amazing. It's just so good. Oh, what the? It's a door. What's that door? Oh, that's so cool. That looks like the house. The 
This is so cool. <laughs> Guess at the least he could draw. Yeah, he painted. I love the little crown with the mustache. Melton, 1992. Of course they did that because they never found his body. Oh, man. She still memorialized him, though. Oh, the paint. <laughs> Got paint everywhere. Alright, boys. Magic paintbrush. Milton Finch in The Magic Paintbrush. <laughs> That's awesome. I was four when Milton disappeared. I love the drawing she gave him. spent months searching for my brother then she sealed the doors I think she wanted to seal away the memories they were just too painful at that point <sighs> whatever Milton had found in the house mom didn't want it getting out this place is both beautiful and creepy and I'm actually loving it just, oh man, this is just so cool. Butterf like, I almost said butterflies. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a butterfly. Butterflies. It is a butterfly. It is a butterfly now. Mom definitely blamed Edie, but Whoa. I think Lewis blamed himself. I wonder what happened. After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room. Until Mom got him a job at the cannery. Oh, okay, never mind. I was gonna check upstairs, but I guess not. No, 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 what are you doing? Grab onto the. Grab it. There we go. Oh, <laughs> okay. Lewis's room smelled very, very familiar. That part oh. of him lived on. That looks so cool. Locker contents. There's a gamer. A pothead. Lewis oh, and I oh, spent cool a lot guy. of time playing games together, but he was surprisingly bad at them. He died a lot. Or maybe he let you win a lot. Psychology. Dear Mrs. Finch, as Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the trouble began in January, 
shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Newly sober, I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony of his daily life. He kept working at the cannery, but he withdrew part of himself. In our sessions, I saw the same behavior. His mind began to... wonder. Oh. I asked him to describe it. He said he started small. Oh. Imagining a labyrinth. He'd feel his way about. This is very difficult, boys. that have not names. He knew it was all in his head. But he took it very seriously. Hey, catch up. Okay. I had hoped he'd find himself. This is really cool. It's like I'm playing D&D. But he found something more. Oh wow. I worried about him then. Daydreaming at the cannery. I spoke with his boss. But he said Lewis had become a model employee. Methodical, tireless, focused. a whole new Lewis. So I let him go on. What? No. Go. I even encouraged him. It seemed very promising at first. He told me he'd made a new friend. On the edge of a city he named Lewis Topia. He built the city up slowly, brick by brick. Then he made musicians. This is so hard. Oh jeez. Okay. And songs for them to play. Trying to he concentrate on doing multiple things, and, and all these people are distracting something. me. Also, awesome, something. Every day, his imagination grew stronger. He no longer spoke at the cannery, but his chopping was as reliable as ever. Then one day, it struck him. That all the cheering crowds, even the stones under his feet, were all in his imagination. So he could do whatever he wished. Oh, I so my bad. I wasn't I didn't see the red carpet. I was too focused on the actual he fish. An election for mayor. They begged him to stay, but his mind was already wandering. It became a game for him. He'd 
conquer a city, then immediately push on. New Louisville. See how I just toss that fish? St. Louis, I, I like it. He started drifting away from our reality. Oh, jeez. Minneapolis. Until one day he forgot to go home from the cannery. Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing on. Holy crap, dude. In Lewisburg, he heard rumors of a... Give me the queen. Handsome queen. Queen was on her own quest for sinister serpents. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, they're putting more obstacles in front of me. Oh god! Boys, if I don't make it, the sound of uh -oh. electric sitar, silver harp, silver harp. This is, this is difficult. Okay. Okay, boys. I got this. I got this. I totally got His this. chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west of the moon. East of the sun and west of the moon. Even okay. then, his logic remained sound. He knew the world was all in his imagination. He was so proud of having created it. In his own eyes, he'd become something greater than a king. He was now a god. For someone who'd never known success in the real world, I think it was overwhelming. And then it struck him. That the real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon, but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. My imagination is as real as my body, he told me. It was hard to argue with him. Oh, what the? I guess he's finally heading home. Oh, there's his locker. Is that a Nintendo Switch? Possibly. That looks so cool. Began to forget the world we know. Oh wow. I think it pained him to remember Lewis, the cannery worker. Lois, buddy, are you okay? He began to despise the man with a royal contempt. Hey, buddy, are you doing okay? Are you, are you okay, buddy? I still thought I, I could save him. Even after he said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. Oh, poor bastard. Alice would be packed with his companions. Including the wise Calico who had insisted on advising him. <laughs> 
Molly. Um, little Molly. The cat that his mother named. That's actually a really cool looking spear. Oh no. I see. There was only one thing left to do. Oh, the music in this game is amazing. Your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. Oh, wow. My brother was really cool. I wish you could have met him. All right, boys, I'm going to end it right there. I'll see you guys. Peace. Bye.